Welcome to spiritualhousemusic.com. I am astrologer and your DJ, David Palmer, the Leo King. And today we are going to be going deep into the house music. But more importantly, we are going to go deep into a tarot reading. See what's going on. You know, as an astrologer, there's so much happening this week. We've also got a new year on the horizon. So what does this all mean for you, your family, your life? Are you going in a new direction? Are you not? How are you going to deal with all this energy? Well, I think we're here to find that out. You know, let's start with the astrology first. First things first, this is Capricorn. This is a lot of Capricorn energy. We've got a moon finishing up in Sagittarius for the next couple days. I think that we need to explore all of our options. I think we can't get lost in maybe, you know, feelings or places that aren't good for us anymore. I think we really need to focus on a plan to make our destiny happen. This can be a year where if you're not in alignment with a plan that's good for you, it could really be a difficult year. And I'm saying that from truth. I think that this is a year that it forces you to do something that you want, that you really, that you feel that you deserve in your life. And it's time for you to make that path. So, you know, New Year's resolution, so forth. I think they're very important for this year more than any other year that there's been. So first things first, we're going to do a little tarot reading. And the first card we got is, oh gosh, I don't know if you guys know cards well, but this is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is... Woo! Getting something that you don't want. Feelings that you don't want either. And I think that overall, I think we're all maybe feeling in places that we haven't want to deal with. You know, I mean, the universe has been bringing us down some crazy roads individually, spiritually for us all. Like we've all had to go down some really weird spots. And yes, as we're opening up our feelings and our emotions, I think that we've had to deal with a lot of things this year that we didn't want to deal with. And I think this week, we need to understand that maybe these were lessons that were given by God in order for you to change, in order for you to get back on your life. So I think this is a very empowering week for you to realize that the emotions and the feelings that you've been going through have all been destined for you to really get in the right place. Oh my gosh, second card we got is the devil card. Don't be afraid if you're a crazy Christian out there. We're not talking about the devil here, but the devil card does talk about in my opinion because you know every astrologer every tarot reader is going to have their own thing the devil to me is work okay it is slavery in some ways and it can be very difficult work the positive of the devil card is you know it can really pay off the hard work but i think that this devil card also can mean that you know what i think it's important to aim more in the light especially this week i think especially in your plans and what your new year's eve plan is i wouldn't be you know doing a bunch of drugs this weekend or this week coming up i just really wouldn't this is definitely a tense full moon i mean new moon happening this is a tense time i would really would focus on doing the best for yourself and make sure that you're not aiming in places of the dark or that you're hanging around certain people or circumstances that are around the dark that's not going to be good. And I don't think that you're going to want to do that either. It won't be the, I don't know, best of feelings in your heart either. And I don't think it's going to do good for you. I'm just going to say it right now as an as a astrologer, tarot reader and everything. Like, don't do anything that your mother wouldn't do. This is not the week to do that. And especially as you could feel bad. Look at this. The first card is the four of cups. You know, you're already going to be like, oh, I don't want to feel this way. Secondly, then you're going to be like, oh gosh, you know, you could be tempted by the devil, quote unquote, but I think that it's important to not get sucked up into that. The last card that we're going to do today is the moon card. So interesting that we have a new moon happening and this has to deal with deep, intense emotions in ourselves. This is undercover kind of stuff that we're feeling. Interesting week that we are going to have here. I mean, as the astrologer, the astrology says this is going to be a pretty intense week. This is going to be a week of powerful change, but I think that there's a lot of crap to cut out in all of our lives. I think that the positive in all this is we're going to get through a lot of our crap. The negative is you have to face a lot of your crap, and I think we've had to face it for a long time. And I think this new year is about you really starting to aim your life correctly based on feelings that you really want to have, you know, not slaving yourself to a system a darkness and feelings that aren't serving you anymore. You know, this is you having to work it out yourself and work it out in your own emotional feelings and really go deep inside and look at the deeper aspect of yourself and go, I'm actually dealing with this crap because it's part of my own self. 
There is nobody doing this to you. You are having to find your own way through this week. And especially on a New Year's like this one, that's going to be pretty intense. What we'll do is we'll pick up one more card for the New Year overall. And that card is the Knight of Pentacles. One of the best cards actually for, manifest, for manifesting, manifesting money, material possessions, and so forth. But to me, this is taking the slow road that makes something. This is a very Capricorn card that if you take your time and you plan accordingly and you actually aim yourself in the right direction this year, you will accomplish everything you ever wanted. And that seems actually so simple, yet it is actually so hard in the way that this world is turning right now, the way that the energy is turning, that you are going to really have to take the long, hard road to your truth. And you're going to need to make sure that you don't aim yourself in the incorrect places of, of darkness, of feelings that you don't want to feel. Don't aim there. You're going to have to put the work in. And that all takes a really big plan. So what a week to start off with as we step into this new year. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. I hope you're, you know, you're doing your fun and having your fun. But, you know, I'm just going to caution people as an astrologer and somebody very spiritual. I don't think this is the new year to go run with your head cut off on a bunch of drugs. I mean, I just, I really wouldn't recommend it because it really could send the wrong signal of the year. You know, there's this old folk folklore of whenever New Year's happen that, Oh my gosh, whoever you're hanging out with and whatever you're doing kind of signals the way that that whole year goes. Well, if there was any year of all years to pay attention to what's happening right now in your life and what this new year will be about, I would pick this new year over all new years. So, had to check the chat room out there. If you're listening to this, the recording, you can join us live 5 p.m. Pacific on spiritualhousesessions.com and spiritualhousemusic.com where we do this live. So what we do now at this part of the show is this is where I DJ what the cards say, what we were talking about live. This one kind of goes a little dark. I'm going to try and bring some light, but cards definitely do go very intense here. So thank you for joining us, spiritualhousemusic.com. This is the part of the show where you join us in the chat room. I will be interjecting here or there in, the, in between the mix, but the next hour is me, you, the music, and the chat room. Thank you guys for joining me on spiritualhousemusic.com. spiritualhousemusic.com. This is where you can get us in the chat room. We are live right now. I will be joining you in the chat and I hope to see you in there.
You are listening to spiritualhousemusic.com.
Join us, spiritualhousemusic.com, live in the chat room. Check it out.
gmail.com. Check us out in the chat room. We're on Justin TV forward slash DJ David Palmer. Check it out. We got a lot of people hanging out. Thank you. 
Support us live, Facebook, Twitter, spiritualhousemusic.com.
spiritualhousemusic.com. Thank you for joining us again for another awesome show. We'll be back same time, same place next week. guys have a wonderful new year this is a great year if you take it seriously <laughs> we got a lot of things going here on spiritualhousemusic.com we got some live guests coming in the next couple weeks you're not going to want to miss it so keep us in your inbox with facebook twitter notifications you can find us. All the links are at spiritualhousemusic.com or spiritualhousesessions.com. I'm your host, David Palmer, the Leo King. I wish you the best new year ever. Thank you guys for all of your support. I'm going to finish this track and then we're out. We'll see you in 2014. Peace.
spiritualhousemusic.com. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the new year, 2014. Catch my daily horoscopes on the Leo King channel, David Palmer Astrology on YouTube. Or if you want more updates, you can always check out theleoking.com, david-palmer.com, or follow me everywhere at the Leo King. Later, later, later. Thank you guys for joining me again. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys, well, probably for the horoscopes. Later. <laughs>